hello welcome guys to another youtube video so your boy safe here and today what we have is a whatsapp agent so it's a whatsapp agent just a simple agent of course you can add multiple tools to it but without further ado let's get started i'll show you what we are doing so what we have here is our n10 and if you don't know n10 it's n10 is one of uh, the most or the powerful platform that you can do automation in it we have make zapier we have also other things like asian kit and asian builder and open ai a lot of things but anything is a really advanced and it's really cool one so what we have here is the canvas uh, of anything and this is just to start so what we are doing we need to start the trigger with whatsapp so simply we can just search whatsapp and here the whatsapp we have all these triggers but what we need to do just on uh, on message so what we have here is like the our trigger here and this is execute the step so it will wait for the actual trigger itself and this is credential to connect with so this is the credential in order to create credential you would just hit here create credential i already have one and it will ask you for the client id and the client secret in order to get those so you will just search in google meta developer and just connect it with your uh, with your facebook after connected with your facebook you will have this after you create an app because it will ask you to create an app just create new app and after creating the app add a product to your app after adding a product you will see all this list but including whatsapp because but i already added whatsapp so it's not showing here but you will see whatsapp here after adding whatsapp just hit set up whatsapp go with the workflow uh with the setup flow and that's it you will have this uh this page okay so we need our client id and the client secret so what we need to do we'll go to app settings and then basic after you hit basic you will see your client client id and client uh secret and then you can start your uh trigger with your whatsapp so it's loaded here this is our id this is the client id you'll copy and paste and this is the secret let's hit show and you will just enter the password after entering the password so you'll see your secret here and you will just take it also copy and paste and you will just uh, copy and paste it here so this is the id and this is the secret and you will just add it here and hit save when you see green so that means it's already connected now we have our trigger here what we need now is our agent so this is our AI agent node. Uh, of course, it's saying here connect to chat to like trigger, but of course we don't need this one. We'll just change it because uh, this prompt will be our uh, our um, text because we will text the agent. So the agent uh, needs to understand what we are texting. So we will put it here, but after we just send the message. Um, let me let me show it to you. Okay, let's just deactivate this. I just hit the D, and I just deactivate it. And now let's let's go to our agent here and let's just hit hi. Okay. Uh, oh, let's execute the workflow. Um, yeah, let's let's hit hi. Okay, as you can see, it's already executed successfully. And now let's reactivate this one. So here our prompt will be this body. Okay, text body. This is the hi that we want okay we will just take it and drag it and drop it here and what we need extra we need like the system prompt so the system prompt it's already here saying you are a helpful assistant or we can just add like enormous system prompt as we want like uh, if it's for like a rack system or if it's like a fitness trainer or um, anything anything that you want to add you can just add it here and you can ask ChatGPT to just write system prompt for you just to let what you need this agent for our chat model is the actual brain itself so i'm just using open ai as a chat model so just using chat uh, open ai and you have here of course the like uh, you can use any model you want and in order to create this one you will just need the abi key so you'll see here create credential and you need abi key in order to get the abi key go into open ai key just hit enter so this is the one and of course this one it will require just to put your credit card uh, information it will not take any money or anything but it's just required credit card information but actually if you want to use it 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 will take money just just add like um five dollar or something so it will take money because of course uh you are using the api itself and you just hit create key after creating the key that's it you just copy and paste it uh, and just paste it here and you will have here uh, your credential okay now we just give it the brain now we have our memory 
uh, the memory is just like a simple memory just change this one also to the fine flow and this one uh, it's better to have the memory it's uh, connected to your phone number if it's connected to your phone number or whatsapp id they will be much better because it will remember this phone number and it will remember all the conversation that coming from this phone number so this is our phone number waid this is the phone number id the profile and you feel waid just put it here as the key and then the context window this is the how many shots that you want the agent to remember so let's just like make it 10 or something now we have our brain and our memory now we can add any tool that we want uh let's let's say for example uh serp abi and for you guys that don't know serp abi serp abi is just uh like uh, deep search in google if you want to deep search and get more information from google you can just use search where you have abify you have um you have other things that you can use but i'm just using serp abi in order also to create credential you will get the abi key uh when you go to serp abi and just uh create an account it will require your email phone number and that's it it will give you 250 um like token to use okay and it's actually uh free like every month it will give you the 250 so that's why i'm using it. it's pretty good uh and now we just the end we need just the whatsapp because we will send it back to the whatsapp so just send message here and the send message so uh it will be here sent the same id the same our id but why here it's like having an error because there is a credential here it's different credentials we have here access token we have business account id how we can get those so let's go back to our meta developer and you'll see here at the right left side you will see whatsapp and just hit abi setup after hitting abi setup you will see a few information from it you can get your access token uh, let's just change it to the actual test number so you will have your number here it's called test number and you will have your number and then you just need to create the token just hit generate access token and reconnect it to our Facebook and just hit copy take this one this is the access token and now we need also um, I don't know okay and we need whatsapp business ID just copy this one and add it here and hit save it will be green now that's it now it's connected now this one is on and this is our test number here it's the same number as here at the same test number okay just press here and we have the receptionist phone number so this is the phone number that it will be so you will input uh, from a specific phone number and the output will be the same the phone number uh, so just run this one okay after running this one now we have here from the whatsapp we have the the phone number so it will be the same phone number um phone number id display phone number uh this is the phone number actually oh i'm sorry it, it will be from this is the phone number okay so you get the phone number for a message then from so you'll have your phone number here okay and the text body itself so this will be the output so the text body it will be output so hello how are how can i assist you today if we run this step so if we went here to whatsapp hello how can i assist today so this is actually basically it we have our whatsapp agent uh, the input and the output we have our agent we have our tools simple memory the chat model and we have everything here so i hope you like it guys and uh, if you have any comments you can just leave it down below and you'll see it also in my school community if you uh, want any workflows uh, any JSON or anything you can see it in my school community or if you had any error you can ask me also in the school and I, I will be replying there okay see you on the next one